Enthusiast here with Benny Dawn Stuff YouTube channel. I'm just finishing work. We've had a great week here at Winners. It's been a bit of a weird week in general with all this stuff going on about masks, all the confusion, all the controversy. But it hasn't stopped us having fun here at Winners. I've met some really, really lovely people. Lots of people coming and saying hello. It's really, really nice to put faces to the names. So thank you all for the support. However, our positivity took a massive hit on Saturday afternoon when the UK announced they would be reimposing the 14 day quarantine for anyone travelling from Spain to the UK. I was at work when the news came in. So we've just had the devastating news confirmed that the UK is reintroducing the quarantine for people returning from Spain. They will have to quarantine for 14 days on arrival back into the UK. What's your thoughts on this? Um, hopefully we Okay guys, thank you very much. It really is devastating news for all of us here in Benidorm. Just as we were starting to see a light at the end of the tunnel, the buzz was back in Benidorm this weekend with so many places reopening and now this. We're going to have a wander. Firstly, to show you that no, we are absolutely not in lockdown. Everything is still open, bars, restaurants and shops. In fact, the numbers for the Benidorm area are still very good. There has been a rise in the number of cases in Spain, particularly in Aragon, Navarra and Catalonia, way up in the north of Spain, nowhere near Benidorm. We're going to chat to some of the tourists here now and get their reactions. I'm here with Andrea and David from Cumbria. They just arrived yesterday. How's it going to affect you guys? Yeah, really disappointed that it's uh, sprung it on us with no notice. Um, obviously when we go back, we're going to have to take two weeks off work. Uh, forced and not going to be able to see grandkids, the rest of the family for two weeks. I don't wear, but it's going to affect that we can't see my parents. My mum's ill most of the time and she depends on family. Um, it's my daughter has a ill baby and a four year old that has problems and she depends on us and we're not going to be able to see them. It's just going to be terrible. Really upsetting all the time. Thanks very much for your time guys. Enjoy the rest of your holiday. We'll try. Thank you. I've got Tony here from Somerset. Tony's due to fly home tomorrow. Tony, what's your take on this whole quarantine thing? To be quite honest, it came as a bit of a shock in respect of there was no sort of pre-notice that this was going to happen. But as we know, with some of Boris Johnson's incompetent ways of trying to run a government, um, it, it's just there should have been more sort of thinking about rather than just slamming a decision. So even though it's beautiful weather here, and um, I would dearly love to stay another week. Obviously, I've got commitments back in Britain, so I'm just a bit concerned that if all planes are, are stopped, you know, what are the only forms of transport to get back home? So angry I'm not, but um, as far as this government have been trying to um, organise the ways of, uh, of doing this properly, um, they've made a complete mess of it. So uh, I hope that answers your question. We also had a great start to the weekend when we went up to the Rio Park on their opening day and saw them welcoming their first guests. We're here at the Rio Park today. It's the greatly anticipated opening day and we're so excited to get inside and see how it's going.
On. Sheila does a lot of promotion, not just for the Rio Park, but for Benidorm in general. Sheila, how long have you been coming to Rio Park and what does it mean to you to see it open again? I've been first came to Rio Park when I was a teenager. It's been open 50 odd years and it was just orange girls, eh? But a dirt football pitch. So I've been living in Benidorm 15 years and got involved with the Rio Park. My friend Jackie Perkins came staying here regularly. And the winter before last, they closed for a massive refurbishment. Because I live here, I was taking photographs for the real part, all you need to know, fan club page. Yeah. Keeping everybody updated and then came for the opening and been coming ever since. And what do you think of the refurbishment? Oh, it's fantastic. It's well and truly it's full star, above standard. The staff are all fantastic, they're really helpful, nice people. And thank you. Fabulous. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions about the Rio Park, you can contact Sheila on the Facebook group Rio Park All You Need to Know. area is massive. I can't see them having any problems here spacing the sunbeds. There's plenty of room for everybody to enjoy. And it's lovely to see some of the first guests straight in the pool for a cool off. We've got Daryl and Michelle here from Brighton. Some of the first British guests arrived at the Rio Park. What's your first impressions of the hotel? So we had a great welcome. Um, Carver at the door. Um, my wife got a, a flower. Uh, we got her to the room. The room's really clean and tidy. Um, and as you can see, it's a great pool area. And the bar's open. It's a little bit too hot though. <laughs> it is very hot, very hot. <laughs> but that's what you're here for, the sunshine. We're going to have to have a dip in the pool soon, I think. Enjoy, thank you for your time. That's no worries, thank, thank you very much. Thank you. It's a lovely bar area here around the pool. It looks like they're just setting up for lunch. There's the QR codes on the table for your menus. We'll have to pop back another day and sample something. That's all from us today, guys. Thanks for watching. I really hope we've got some more positive news to bring you in our upcoming videos. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave us a comment, and like and follow us on Facebook at the Benidorm Enthusiast. Stay safe!